I am on the website internet. Uh, we are potentially offering a new service, which is maintenance washers. Um, so you can book online, click the service you want, drop it off, we'll wash it, make it clean, and then you can come back in about an hour and collect it. So I'm working on that, trying to make the service available for people. So look out for it very soon. A number of reasons to why we machine polish a car. That could be due to swells, scratches, or damage to the paint that will be needing a machine polish to fix. On this particular car, it will just be because the car has had to get from its destination where it was built to the customer. And in that journey, there could be a manner of reasons as to why there'll be imperfections in the paint, very really subtle ones. We've deconned the car, it's clean. We just need to run the machine polish over just to fix anything that's on that surface ready for a ceramic coating. So on this occasion, on this car, or mostly new cars that we work on, the main purpose of machine polishing the car is to prepare it for a ceramic coating because the ceramic coating will not work to its best potential unless that polishing process has taken place. So we're just using a bit of Gion polish on a Gion white soft pad. Um, and we're gonna waz over the whole car of this, but I'm just gonna demonstrate what I'm gonna be doing just on this panel here. So we'll dab it on, excuse my battered and overused polisher. Um, I found the torque specs of this Range Rover Velar, which is 140 Newton meters. Um, so now I can go around to all the nuts on the wheels and then talk them all up to the correct specification. Right, so in this episode we're going to be discussing some questions that people have asked through our Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is that they've got in contact with us. They've asked some basic questions and we're going to provide as much of the answer as we can. Um, so in the comments below, if you think I'm wrong or you think and have want some input into these uh, question and answers, let us know in the comments below. Um, it's, this is a 2023 Range Rover Velar. Um, I believe it's a 73 plate because it's brand new. Um, it has been here since yesterday morning. It came in at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, it's been been had a full decon wash, which is an, a removal of iron, tar, and any any dirt. Make sure the car is as clean as we can get it. Um, it's then had a new car preparation treatment, which is a single pass with a machine polisher. Um, as it's brand new, it shouldn't have many or any well to any swirls. Um, and then it's been prepped with an alcohol-based spray um, and then it's had a four-year ceramic coating which is a mix of two ceramic coatings um, it's had ceramic coatings to the wheels the glass all um, the plastic trims and then to the interior and then I've just done the wheel, all the wheel torques um, dressed all the tires and I've just finished off cleaning the interior glass to make sure there's no um, smudges, marks, sucker marks from the factory. So this is our new addition. This is Bounty. We're going for a more of a, like a, a chocolate theme because um, he's, I suppose, white-ish, uh, greyish, and chocolatey looking. We order our products from Gion UK. Um, everything related to Gion, whether it's paint protection film, uh, maintenance products, which are others here, uh, that we sell to the customers should they need them, and then any ceramic coating that we need that are specific to us because we are Gion certified detailers, um, that we go onto their website, order what we need, and then uh, we pay for it, and it turns up in a box. Yeah, so they come in a package a few days later, fingers crossed, you never know. Uh, so this should be some infinite base type one which is there. That is a certified detailer only coating, um, which means you have to know what you're doing to put it on. So I don't know why I'm doing it. What's in the box? In the box is some instructions or coatings manual in case you really don't know what you're doing. If you're a certified detailer, in case you don't know what you're doing, there's a manual. 
an applicator. One has a microfiber side, one has a suede side. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Um, your warranty booklet, that will allow you to go onto the Geon Services website where you can register your coating. And then your bottle of product, um, that will allow you to apply it to the whole car. The whole car. One bottle, one car. Um, I'm currently spreading some ceramic coating um, around the wheel face. Um, nice and evenly, as much as I can get everywhere. And then it can, once it's all been coated, as I'm nearly done with this one now, it can then be buffed off um, everywhere, make sure there's no coating left on the surface of the wheel. Um, and then it can be cured, and that will then protect the wheel itself from any, any grime, uh, brake dust, etc. Yes, you can apply PPF to older cars. Um, the first thing I would be looking out for is, has it had any previous paint repairs? Um, that will really tell if, the, if you did need to remove the film at some point in the future, um, would the paint come off with the PPF, i.e. the repair would kind of reveal itself. Um, you can re you kind of stop the condition of the car in its tracks, i.e. if it's 10, 20 years old, then you're not making it going to look like 30 or 40 years old. You're going to keep it looking at 20 years old. Um, and you can have peace of mind driving around in that car, even though it has got stone chips here and there, it's kind of, as its age, and has wear and tear based on its use up until that point, um, knowing full well that you're not going to make the car look older and more tattier. Because let's face it, cars of up until today are could be considered as classic cars, never to be made again, have internal combustion engines in and there will be uh, no more of these cars ever made again. So it increases the probability that people will protect a used car despite its condition because they don't want it to get worse because yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna hold its value for a longer period of time if the car is in a really good condition. So something to look out for in the near future, which we'll announce quite soon, is an additional service that we're gonna offer on a Saturday is a like a maintenance wash, um, which allows us to either check over a um, already ceramic coated car and maintain that, or keep a well-maintained car clean. Um, and then in addition to that, what you can do if you wanted to, and I'll ask you on the website, do you want a voucher? to go and spend at our cafe bar in town, which is about a 10 minute walk into town, where you can go and grab a piece of cake, some coffee, a breakfast, should you want some. Um, and then you will just come back later when your car's nice and clean. And then yeah, so that's what's coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, right here, I am uh, cleaning the, or hand polishing the inside of this grill on the BMW. Uh, my trick is to use a pen. This one is made of card or paper, actually. It's a Geon pen. Um, so it's nice and soft, it won't cause you to wrap it in. And it's just big enough to fit in the little holes. There we go. And uh, it will look like we've done a good job then. Sorry, hang on a minute, I'm not gonna swear. However, as you may have seen, I've been fiddling with this and trying to answer questions and concentrate this whole time about with this machine polisher, I'm trying to fix it. There's no fuse in the plug. So let's just test if I do put this fuse in, if it works, which I've just been kindly notified by Ethan. Oh yeah, the fuse is on the desk. Would you believe it? Who took the fuse out? So the question we get asked is, what do you do with social media? Um, how do you post your material and why and how often? Um, how do you get subscribers and followers and all this kind of stuff? But in the flip to that is, um, what would you like to see from us? You know, we, we can only 
you know, right now we, you know, we're making this video, but we're, we're going, well, what do people want to know? And, you know, what's the best answer for that question? So we want to know from you in the comments also is what would you like to see? I think we've done that question in the past. And the answer was, we want to see the dogs and hear car engines being revved. That was one of them. So stuff the detail in how good we are. We, people just wanted to hear, see the dogs and hear cars being revved. So that was the answer to that one. But let us know. Uh, but in terms of what we do for social media, um, obviously when I was a lad, um, there wasn't social media. It was uh, put your um, information in the local newspaper or send some letters out to let people know of your services um, and this, that and the other. Um, but when social media came along, it did make you know, life a little bit easier for everybody. I think that's where the popularity of all businesses has, has, has come. Uh, they've done well through social media. Um, but for us, there's multiple platforms. So you've got YouTube, which is hopefully where you're watching the video now. So that can be mixed across what, how we make a video is a nice, highly presentable video. Then we do these where we're a little bit more of a relaxed uh, process. Then we get to answer questions. And then Facebook, we don't tend to use Facebook as much as we used to. Um, why? Um, we just don't get much in terms of business from Facebook. Uh, Instagram is like an art gallery, I suppose, a place where you can take pictures and present your your work to people as a bit of a um, like an art, like I say, like a picture gallery, really, more than anything. Um, what can I say? Instagram feeds is just to let people know what's going on at that particular moment in time and a little quick video. Um, Google is probably the best source for us, is letting people, or our customers know about what we offer, how can they find us, where are we located, what are our opening hours, then the website, can they get the correct information from the website, what services we provide, how can they get a quote, that kind of thing, what are our Google, what are our reviews looking like and all that kind of thing. So social medias and then timing wise when you post, I don't think really unless you're after high volume of traffic coming towards you because you can absorb that amount of traffic you just want to let people know about you you can i don't think more is better i assume uh, keep posting letting people know what you do but if it's to generate inquiries and business then i think there's a bit more of a strategy behind that because you can post a load of material you get a load of people on the phone you'll take a load of work on it be the wrong type of work and then it'll just overload you um, and then you'll just end up letting people down and make a mistake. So um, target who you want to target first, what customers, what kind of cars do you, would you like to work on and target your content at those people. Um, that's my advice with social media, whether it's right or wrong, again, just let us know, what do you do? Um, and on to another question. So do we have any plans to expand? Right now, no, because I think to, in order to expand, we need to get here perfect in order to copy what we do here to make it work somewhere else. But geographically, you could take this business and put it somewhere else and it could completely be wrong. So we need to understand where that you would like to go and where do you see the benefit of having what we offer in that area. Take what we know from here, the basics, and then apply them somewhere else. Um, but yes, there is a possibility in the future to expand and open up another premises. Um, but we need to make sure that here is perfect. All the education, the training has been done before we release someone or a candidate in another shop. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different to what we've done in the past. We want to really engage with viewers. We want to see what our customers think of the detailers, how they're going on out there. So leave your questions and comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe as normal and like, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect. Um, and once again, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, subscribe. Keep a lookout for upcoming videos on my channel, which will be coming soon, um, about detailing in general, what's it like working on cars like this, um, wrapping, whatever I get up to that I can post about. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. 
Staffordshire Car Care is a GEON certified detailing company operating from a purpose designed studio based in the heart of Staffordshire, providing expert installations of ceramic coatings, machine polishing, and paint protection film. Get a tailored quote for your vehicle at www.staffordshirecarcare.co.uk.